Mm -hmm. How are you? Good evening. Yes, how yes. are you? How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Um, how? Just in my divorce. Okay. Okay, let's begin. All right. So, yes, thank you so much for booking my class. And yes, I am Rika. What is your name? My name is Cindy. Okay, hello, Cindy. Could you tell me something about yourself? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me something about yourself? Okay, so upon checking, you're going to take, yes, this IELTS speaking test. Okay, so if uh, you... Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, okay. So when are you going to take your test or IELTS test? Oh, well, I am uh, planning for the postgraduate study. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, okay, let me check for, for postgraduate studies. Okay, let me, I can see here that uh, this is IELTS. Uh -huh. Am I right? IELTS? Yes, and tomorrow I will start my oral test. Wow, okay. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no, all right. But I believe that you can do this, okay? So, yes, anyway, all right. What is your target band score? I just need... Six. Okay, six. All right, so are you ready? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, Cindy, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, so don't worry, rest assured you can do this. Okay, and wait, nice to meet you. All right, so in the part one, because we have three parts, right? So all you've got to do is to answer the questions using PREC. Okay, what is PREC? Mm -hmm. Let me send you. Okay, P stands okay. for okay point. R stands for reason, and okay, I will send it to you. E explanation or example. Okay, and C stands for conclusion. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is P-R-E-C. And your answer should uh, not be too short and not too long. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just have to speak around two to three sentences. Not too short, not too long. And uh, just be calm, right? Because uh, uh, you just have to imagine that you're talking to a friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so that's IELTS, so you don't need to feel pressured, so just imagine that you are telling a story to a long-lost friend, say for example, your best friend you haven't talked for a while, okay? I and think just... I'm so ner nervous and um, also hesitate, so... Okay, so that's normal, don't worry, okay? So when you feel hesitant, okay, all right, so you can use fillers. What are fillers? To fill the gaps, because sometimes uh, uh, we run out of words, we're confused with a question itself, maybe, right? <laughs> okay, or... Like, like well, uh, I suppose something like... Yes. yes. Oh, you know. Well, I guess you know. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of saying, mm, okay, to fill the gaps. All right. And while you are using those fillers, your mind should be alert to think of your reasons. Okay. You know, when you say, you know, your mind is working. 
right? You're thinking of the next words that you should say. Get it? Okay. I say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And yes. All right. So let's give it a try. And you can also rephrase some words. Okay. Say, for example, happy okay. over the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just focus on the four categories and you will get there. I believe Chinese people are good in handling IELTS questions. <laughs> right? And I don't have any problem with the pronunciation, only rare, okay? Or only few corrections in pronunciation. And in grammar, perfect. So let's talk about work or study. Do you work or study? I'm a student now. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, I'm a student now and mm -hmm. I am. Okay, reasons of the PREC rule. I am a student now uh, and I am currently. I'm a student from Shijiao uh, Tung University College. And I'm a senior student now. Okay. Tomorrow, uh, and the next year I will graduate from the school. Okay, next year I will graduate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can say next year my ultimate dream will finally come true okay uh-huh okay yes all right so you can use idioms do you know idioms mm -hmm. okay let me i don't know all right so don't worry okay so to get a higher vocabulary and Okay, in IELTS. Okay, let me translate the word. Okay, idioms. Okay, so say for example, you'll say happy. It's a common word, right? You can say over the moon. I was over the moon when I saw him, when I saw her. Right? Okay, so those are idioms. Or... She, she. All right, let me send it to you. <laughs> okay, let me okay. copy and paste it. Okay, my accent might not be <laughs> as fluent as Chinese people say, or yeah, you can understand it. Mm -hmm. Idioms. Are you familiar with idioms? But not all the time you can, all right, you can use it, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can, okay? Okay. Or do not overuse because uh, you might be the examiner might be confused, right? <laughs> there are, yeah, lots of yeah, not really confused, but uh, it seems like uh, it's not realistic anymore. All right. So great, nice try. Next, all right. What is your major? My major is international economics and business, and it involves so many class like financial uh, man management and some English class. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, let me do a share screen, dear. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Economics. Okay. All right. Yeah, economics. All right. So let's continue. Here we go. Yes. Okay. 
Why did you choose that major? The most important, the most important reason is, is why I chose this is because my mother is also a trader uh, from a multinational base, uh, company. So I think I, I, I want to be a person like her, so I chose this subject. Okay, like is too common, you can use love, right? I love or I enjoy. I sorry, enjoy. Okay. <laughs> All okay. Right. You can uh, rephrase the words. Okay. Yeah. And here we go. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about pets. So you know IELTS, right? <laughs> okay. So everything's unpredictable. What's your favorite animal and why? Uh, uh, oh, I like uh, I like the dog best big, uh, and also and uh, now I re also re uh, I raising a a keeper dog now the dog is uh, was by from a, a pet exhibition. I so love her. Okay, I love dogs. Okay. Or I am so in love with her. Okay. Or I really love her. Or oh, I am into her. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so, mm -hmm, of course. Or I take good care of her. Yes, you can uh, use uh, follow-up questions or say more. Okay, because you are given two to three sentences and uh, you have to speak uh, more. Okay, all right. P-R-E-C, okay. follow the P-R-E-C. Mm -hmm. So what is the most popular animal in China? Well, I suppose it, it is also the dogs. That's in China, many people keep the dog as their children to accompany, uh, to accompany them so that they will don't feel lonely. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can say, I guess that's also a good idea, right? Okay, for them not to feel bored, you can say, okay? That's a good idea. Not to feel bored, most especially during this pandemic, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes, dear, thank you so much. So, you just have to make your answers longer, okay? Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. I understand your answers completely. So let's talk about mm -hmm, an item which you spent more than expected. Do you have a, a pen and a paper with you, uh -huh, Cindy? Yes. All right, great. So this time, yeah. I want you to share your ideas or your answers later. Okay, so fluency and coherence will be tested in this part. All right. Okay. Okay. So all you've got to do is to describe an item you, which you spent more than expected, and you should say what it is, how much you spent on it, why you bought it, and explain why you think you spent more than expected. And you can make an interesting introduction, like, let's talk about an item on which I spent more than expected, or recently I have bought. So just like telling a story, right? So there's an interesting introduction before you say more, right? Oh. 
Okay, all right, are you ready? I will give you a minute and uh, you will share your answer afterwards and that should only be two minutes or one minute more or more. Okay. okay. All right, so timer starts now. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'd like to talk about uh, action I spent more than expect, uh, expected is uh, teddy bear. It was about several years ago. Uh, uh, I was about, I was six years old, so, uh, six years, yeah, six years, uh, years, uh, sorry, uh, I was six, oh, uh, my, my age is, it was six, and, uh, where, uh, uh sorry. <laughs> Well, uh, where were we? We back our hometown to visit my relevant and before we leaving uh leaving the hometown we went to uh, shopping mall for shop the uh, for shopping and at that time I saw really cute teddy bears which make me can't move and by accident i receive uh i receive a red pocket from my grandparents so i have a few man uh, a few, a few money and after I checked the price tag I found it will need two hundred yuan and uh, I just I, I just had three hundred yuan. I I thought uh, I thought that it was very expensive but I really like it. After a bit of thinking, uh, of, after a, t a bit of thinking, I decided to buy this teddy bear, and the I just uh, take all the teddy bear's box on the shelf and go to the reception for uh, for paying and then I took the bear I took the bear's box uh, box, uh, box to the uh, to the car and on the way way back home I Open. Uh, I can't. I can't wait to open the box. But after I opened it, I found there was empty, and 
I was so sad and there was no uh, no solution to and there is no need to her back to the shopping mall. So it's really spend a lot uh, a large money at that time. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Okay, so you just have to organize your ideas more, but it's okay. You have organized it, but uh, uh, you just have to take a note of the time. Okay, so you do not need to say the things, okay, when you were on your way home, right? So, yeah, I understand. Maybe you were excited. Okay, so you can say when I was six years old. Okay, took the bear with me and go home or went home. You can say, okay? Okay. All right. So, yes, dear, no question. So, so far, so good. And just use fillers, okay? I understand that uh, we want to, um, okay, we want to be 100% sure that we are saying the right things, right? <laughs> okay. So, we want to process what we have in mind. Okay, so you just have to use fillers if, uh, okay, if uh, we are thinking that way, okay? But we're still practicing and that is normal, okay? All right. I don't think worry. I make so many mistakes. Mm -hmm, not much. Okay, so you just don't have to uh, uh, enumerate. The, okay or say in details okay like i i went out i took the pair you can say i went home you can say but yes uh, the listener should also feel that you are excited and happy right okay so i understand don't worry we are still practicing and you will improve the next day okay i believe mm -hmm. okay thank you yes i believe in you so just use fillers. I know, you know. Okay. All right. So let's proceed. I have here some questions for part three. Do you often buy more than expected? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you often buy more than expected here? Actually not. I think I'm a self-disciplined person so that I always make a plan for my expenditure. So most of the time I will not spend the money more than I expected. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, that's nice, all right? But uh, we have to answer much longer in this part, okay? Let me show you something, okay? So you already know PREC, right? Okay? So you just have to make it longer, okay? All right, okay. and I will give you another tip, okay? Can you see it? Okay, so we have a triangle. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, the question is quite hard. You need to compare two things, say, for example, right? Mm -hmm. So to be more logical, you can always think about part three questions from three dimensions there, like what some people think or do, what others think or do, or what you do, mm -hmm. what you think or do. Say, for example, how do people in your country meet others and make friends? So this is the introduction. There are several ways people get to know others, right? Okay, so you have to get the general idea, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. And next, some people are very active and socialize frequently in their neighborhood. They make many friends by attending all kinds of activities. So general, okay, based on your observation. But others can easily make close friends at school or at workplace because we, 
we spend much time in schoolmates with schoolmates and workmates. I believe this is a major way for us to develop friendships, right? As for me, this one dear, okay? So this is the time that you can share what you have in mind. So it depends on the question, dear, okay? But uh, in your case, you can answer it in P-R-E-C, right? Okay, here's the P-R-E-C, okay? Yeah. Point, for example, yes. Reason, I really enjoy living in my house because it's extremely spacious and comfortable and well furnished, right? That's the reason why you want to stay in the house because the question is do you like living in your house explanation i have a large bed large desk to study at the neighborhood is also very peaceful conclusion all in all it's an ideal house for me so you can say pr easy but uh, make it uh, more uh, detailed okay mm -hmm. okay so, do you often buy more than you expected? Yes or no? Uh, actually not. Uh, I'm a self-disciplined person. And most of the time, I will make plan for my expenditure. So that I will spend the money over my, uh, beyond my uh, extent. And I think nowadays there are so many kinds of line that's uh, not great things for the students and someone may count of a uh, someone may uh, may trap uh, trap into the uh, get into the trouble because of the uh, the students now so i think to be a decent, uh, to make a plan for the Expenditure is very important. I agree. Okay, wonderful. Amazing. That one. All right. So just like that, dear. Okay, so next let's proceed to the second question for part three. Do you think young people spend yes, what do you think young people spend most of their money on? What do you think? Uh -huh, let me send you. Okay, so since you are, <laughs> okay, yeah, here, maybe you can answer more. What do you think young people spend most of their money on? I want to hear from you. Personally, I think the most, uh, the majority of money they spend will go on the food. And that's uh that's uh main reason why parents will give the ch ch give their children some pocket money they need to survive so they must uh, have to uh, they need to food what else uh, to, yes, this is some food. And another thing they spend most is the uh, is the uh, customer, I think, mm -hmm. because as uh clothes. Yes, clothes. And the uh, and the uh, custom mix. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Could you type it? Thank uh, you. Because, mm -hmm. uh, for the boys, they need to buy some uh, so many shoes to make up themselves. For the girls, they may 
nature makeup so the cosmetics make, uh, the nature okay. by oh sorry the cosmetics yeah the nature by so many cosmetics mm -hmm. to make their beautiful yes for them to look more beautiful okay all right so also for education right okay yes for studies okay mm -hmm. okay of course okay. uh yeah i think just the parents will provide will. Okay. yeah mm -hmm. all right yes mm -hmm. their parents will gonna pay for that one okay so yes all right i understand so say for example you're in a dormitory right okay and you have money of course maybe some of their fees okay but it depends okay but if you want it it's okay all right yeah i respect that as for me okay so Mm -hmm. would you like to share but it's okay not to share <laughs> okay but if you okay. love yeah yeah because uh, the important thing is uh, they want to know if you have an idea what's really going on okay your surroundings okay great i understand mm -hmm. okay keep up the great work there good idea so you can also do the listing what is listing first okay second third okay that's what we call listing say for example you can uh, say more or give more examples right mm -hmm. then okay. you can mm -hmm. all right how can we okay how can we prevent this uh, type of all right or undesirable events in our lives first second for example okay <laughs> okay. so do you think it is important to save money and why i think it's really important the main reason is that the person may make something in emergency at that time they need uh, need the main need a huge money to spend such as the disease or the accident and another reason is that ever uh, each of person have their plan or dreams they need to spend a lot uh, they need to save money to achieve their dreams so i think it's very important for anyone yes okay of course we have to save money in case of emergency all yes, right mm -hmm. for studies yes and uh, okay. and and mm -hmm. then no in the eastern country they have uh, an idea for mm -hmm. Uh, for yes, for in, uh, encourage to not save money so that they can earn more money <laughs> and they can enjoy their life, family, okay, or their family life. Okay, yes, wonderful. Okay, so great vocabulary words there. Thank you so much. That's great. I think I won't have any problem with uh, the lexical resource and the pronunciation. Okay, so we just have to practice. Okay. Mm. Yes, wonderful. So let's go back to part one. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, I'd like to move on now to talk about getting lost. Have you ever lost your way? Uh, yes, I have. It was about four years ago. I was at maybe 10 years, 10 years old. At that time, my family and I 
was shopping on a mall. Um, at one point, I was attracted by a soft, the a soft toy. Mm -hmm. It also be a teddy bear. I really, I really like teddy bear, and then I. <laughs> I was getting lost, and with the help, of, uh, with the assistance from the receptionist, finally I found my family. I found I found my parents, and we back home. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. All right, finally. You can rephrase the word family in parents, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't need to repeat the words over and over again. Okay, so let's continue. Mm -hmm. All right, how can you find your way when you are lost? I think uh, nowadays the uh, Development of technology is getting more and more advanced, and so there are so many digital devices like phone or the pad or the watch. They can, they they can all use the GPS, so they can through the digital map to. Advanced way. Yeah, okay, I agree. The digital map. So, do you know how to read a map? Mm -hmm. I think I have ability to, to read yes. the map. I think it's a basic ability for a person because the direction is only far the direction is only far towards and it's easy to find the way okay and you may also ask from people around you right okay, okay. so thank you so much mm -hmm. So let's talk about, okay, third part, dear. Our second part. Are you ready? I will send you a message. Okay. So, of course, the cue card for the second part. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Maybe. Right. Okay. No, you're ready. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> okay. So let me send it to you now we will talk about a foreign person you have heard or known that you think is interesting it could be an actor an actress and uh, you should uh, know or you should uh, share who is that person mm -hmm. okay and uh, how you knew him or her and what kind of person he or she is and explain why you think he or she is interesting okay okay all right so yes i will give you one minute to think of your answers ready okay
Ready? I will try. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to talk you talk you about my oral teacher. He's a he's a foreigner from America, and the first I met him was in my school oral class. When the clock ring rang and she uh, he came in, everyone was amazed by his uh, appearance with the blue eyes and white skin. I think she is a little similar to the Justin Bieber. <laughs> So she, uh, he is very handsome. Uh, as uh, for the class, she's uh, he's very uh, he's very interesting, and she uh, he always joke with uh joked with us and on the on the class. I always show some uh, show some video for us and makes uh play some game with us. And the most interesting thing is that uh, uh, occurrently I found uh, I I found here's one of the internet celebrity from the social media application called TikTok. I've, uh, I found he, uh, he was uh, uh, he, uh, he was introduced the Chinese things like Chinese country, Chinese food, or Chinese traditional uh, clothes to the foreigner, uh, which can also say for, uh, for his hometown to show the Chinese country. And uh, she talks uh talks about the things in uh which was from China in uh aspect of foreigner. So I think it's it is very unique and it was really interesting. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Wow. Interesting. Okay. So he looks like Justin Bieber. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Or he has a similarity. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. He has a similarity of Justin Bieber. Okay. All right, or there are some features of him that looks like uh, Justin Bieber. Okay. Mm. All right. And next, he jokes around. He is interesting. Okay, dear, so the word interesting is too common and you have uh, uh, repeated it many times, right? Okay. What other words can we replace the word interesting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Funny. Okay, so it depends. You can say he is funny or he is fascinating. All right, okay, but of course. Or you can describe him or add more adjectives. Okay, so he jokes around or he cracks jokes, you can say. 
He used to crack jokes whenever we're around. During class, he always shows some videos and play games with us or show games with us. Okay, you have mentioned. All right, and he introduced it, okay? Or he introduced those videos to foreigners or you can say the viewers or he uh, introduced or um, uploaded or he used to upload, okay? He used to upload. It depends on how you're going to use it, okay? Both are correct tenses. So it depends on how you're going to play with the words, okay? He used to upload videos mm -hmm. to inform or introduce China, right? To inform people all over the world mm -hmm. or to let the, the people see, right? Okay, the beauty of China. Okay. Hello, are you with me? Yes. Yes. The beauty of China. As well as the traditional clothes, right? You have mentioned. Okay. So, yeah, all right. You can rephrase the, the other words. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Just to rephrase some words and just uh, use some fillers sometimes. But it has improved. Yeah, okay. To tell you frankly, it has improved right away. Mm -hmm. I think I, I just can get five points. You can, you just have to practice, okay? Don't uh, think that you can't. Always think that you can, all right? So everything... I need to, rep I need to prepare so many materials so that I can you uh, need to... get the things. But I don't have enough time. All right, when will you take the test? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So I want. I will send you some tips. Okay. Don't worry. And. Uh, all right. I will attach it in your. I will attach everything right here. Okay. Don't worry. You will pass. Okay. All right. Thank don't you. be too nervous. Just imagine that you are just talking to a friend. All right, just uh, because if you're just talking to a friend, you will feel calm, right? And also, yeah, okay, so let's just wish that you will be, um, or that you are familiar with the topic. It might be the topic that uh, we have discussed, right? Okay. Yes. Yes, so just stay calm and uh, don't sleep late, okay? <laughs> Okay. All right, because uh, yeah, you might you might not think well. All right, the next day. Mm -hmm. So prepare your mind. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax. <laughs> okay, you can do it. All right. Anyway, thank you so much, dear. I will send you some notes and please read it. Okay. okay so All right. Okay. Some tips to pass I, your. Uh huh. Yes. I, I think the part three is easy for me because I can improve, uh, provide some so many point, uh, views but yes in the part in the part two I can't mm -hmm. I, can, I can't express my experience Your, so clear. okay so anyway it was coherent there no problem about it okay I like the way you have organized your ideas, but uh, it seems like uh, it's just too slow. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. you just have to stay calm and uh, don't be afraid to speak. Okay. You have the potential. You can speak English. You have a good pronunciation. So just say what you have in mind. Maybe you are feeling like um, conscious, right? I'm afraid that I might make a mistake, so I'll speak slowly, right? 
Uh, is that yes. the reason? Okay, so don't think that you will make a mistake. Always think that uh, what you're saying is right. And do not look at the examiner directly, okay, please. I beg you. You will feel more nervous, okay? <laughs> okay, but uh, someone says said that the examiner will look directly mm -hmm. to you. Oh, yes, of course. All right, Thor. Just All the time. Yes, <laughs> but okay, so just don't feel uh, affected. Okay, so just imagine I will give you a very effective tip. It is called fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fake, fake your confidence. Just let him feel that you are not uh, nervous. Okay. Because okay. I have worked as a call center agent before. I have done this many times, and it ha that's the reason why I am quite uh, confident. Right, because at first I hide myself, right, because I'm just uh, taking calls, right, because I'm really an introvert, to tell you frankly. I cannot uh, handle or I cannot uh, talk in public, but now I can. Why? Because of this. Fake it till you make it, and don't worry, your test will only last for 14 minutes, 11 to 14 minutes only, dear. Okay? So you just have to fake your confidence for only 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. And after that, the rest of the day, you can be yourself. Just imagine you're talking to a friend. Just say what you want and practice what you have learned tonight. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much, dear. And I will send you some notes. I believe in you and on the things that you can do. Goodbye and see you. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. See you. See you. Bye.